Okay, hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have Frankie the Makeup Fairy, who is in the part of the Pop Star Fairy series. So, I don't believe this is actually the first one of its series, because I'm not quite sure because it's the makeup one, but well, anyway, let's get a close look at Frankie. So, she has this blue short hair with her star earrings and a cleft kind of necklace that helps her support her makeup choices. And then she has this like it looks like almost like a blue bodysuit because it's really tight and then it's like tucked in with this like wavy like blue skirt and a belt and then she has these glitter shoes on she has one makeup mirror in her one hand and another wand in the other and then she has these like blue rings too okay and then this is the other series so yeah so frankie is actually this one here so I still got these three, these four to try and get. So, so this one here, Frankie the Makeup Fairy's magical cleft necklace helps keep face paint colourful and fun. But now Mean Jack Frost has stolen the cleft, and everyone at the Rainsville Island Midget Lit will look terrible unless Chrissy and Rachel can get it back. Okay, so like every other book, we have a a different kind of map because it's a different series. So you can see there's the carnival, a lot of the stuff is going to happen in the carnival and the Jack Frost Castle with the fairy music fairyland, everything like that. And then we have this, so it says the Jack Frost spell. In high time for the world to see the legend I was born to be, the prince of pop, a dazzling star, my fans will flock from far and near. And pop star fame is hard to get unless I get myself a bet. I need a plan, a cunning trick to make my stage a super slick. Seven magical clubs I steal then... They will give me my pop star powers. I feel I sing and I dance, I dazzle or shine, and my pop star glory will be mine. So, that was that. So, it starts off with Rachel and Kate Christie going to a music festival. Um, and they're going to a art, like a face paint place to get their face paint done. And it's one of the, she asked one that's for a rainbow, one asked for like this glitter thing on her face. And then there's another pop star comes in, but she, they obviously she got she's in disguise, and she asked for this like butterfly on her cheek. And when the makeup art is finished, they look really, really crappy. And I mean like really, really crappy. Like it's all just like splattered paint all over their face. And it looks completely different. What they wanted. So butterfly spider. A glittery star thing turned to a blink blinding thing. You know? Stuff like that. And then it turns out to be that it was, we find out that a goblin has her cleft and, uh, well, they then they meet the fairy, um, the Frankie the Makeup Fairy, and tells her what's going on. They find out that there's a, a goblin there who has her cleft on to make him a magical makeup artist, no matter how he looks. He's this magical makeup artist, because obviously she, he has the cleft on. Um, so then we find out that... Um, they use one of the uh, Christine to pretend to be a pop famous pop star to go through, and and ask um to be. It was like she sat down. She went, "You better be lucky that I've come. To, you're the best um my makeup artist I know here. That's from the, the famous the art festival. And you better make me look pretty. So you better be on the chin here." And he's like stuttering over his words because he's like oh yes you're starring yes yes you're on stuff like that and then she goes oh that's a pretty necklace oh is, and you're afraid it's gonna be dirty with the makeup you must take it off um and then obviously she, um the goblin puts it in his pocket and then the fairies run and get it but then um okay no and then Rachel gets caught in the box by Jack Frost because Jack Frost comes in and goes, I want you, you need to make me pretty. And he's like, I don't have my magical cuff on me, I've lost it. And he's like, You imbecile. And obviously, then Jack Frost come, um, captured one of the fairies um, with the cuff on, which was Rachel, and then um, it somehow escaped. And then they were back at the Jack Frost palace. He was at, they were at his place, but in his bedroom. And he was looking at himself and he had magical cleft on and he was putting this lightning ball over his face and then they were like trying to trick him so to get the magical cleft back so they said if you close your eyes you'll make yourself look better. 
So what they did, what they did do was that they changed his mirror into one of those um, carnival circus mirrors. You know, one of those ones that you can make you look different sizes and all that. Um, they changed the mirror to that when he opened his eyes. He looked and he was like, "Why do I look like that? Why?" And then also they took they took the necklace back, and then obviously they everything was pretty much back to normal. The concert was great. They had their face paint brilliantly done and stuff like that. And if you go through the book as well, I don't think they did it for the recent ones, but lately they have been showing you what the next um, book will be. So Rotella, the Star Spotted Fairy, and then they give you a, gl a little glimpse of a chapter in it. And then this is the rest of the pop star fairies. There you can see. So you've got lyrics. I can't even see the shine singers up like on things like that. So. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. Next one is the Olympia, the Games Fairy, and that was a oh my god, that's a big a uh, big book to read through, which is very rare to see because normally this is like a thin book. You can see it's a thin. This one's like a chunky. But I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.